So I'm going to start off with introducing the context for today and introducing our new organisation. Uh, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the ethos, the aims, what we provide and who we are. So as teaching staff in UK universities, we have a specially delightful challenge. How to engage and inspire our students. How do we equip them to compete in the global space industry and become members of teams like this? There are some concerning statistics. The IET, uh, Engineering Institution, did a survey of employers recently, and it said that 62% of employers are concerned about graduate skills. Even worse, 68% are concerned that the education system will struggle to keep up with the skills required for technological change. 59% believe that students don't have sufficient practical skills. But don't worry. There's a new kid on the block. We are called, this fledgling organisation is called the Space Universities Network and our aim is to support the space higher education community. And I've got our uh, comms lady at the University of Bristol has been to town on some videos that some of my colleagues have sent me. Uh, this is the Cranfield uh, University payload for ASEO. This is the University of Bristol CAMSAT uh, dropping competition. This is Kingston's rocket building. Uh, University of Manchester's Hansat and Rocket Building. This is Yui going into Children's Hospital and doing outreach. University of Birmingham and Strathclyde together working on a Rex Aspexus mission. Okay, that's our introductory video. So our aims are to provide guidance and shared resources for space-related projects like the ones you've just seen. We share and promote best practice and innovation in space science and engineering courses through workshops like these ones, our website, research and supporting professional development. We wish to help create a skilled workforce of graduates. And we are liaising with industry in, again, workshops like this to ensure the currency and relevance of our curricula. Uh, we also provide uh, an expert and facilities database. So um, just introducing our new website, which launched last week, and it looks like this. Please go and have a look at it. Uh, one point to draw your attention to is that the resource bank uh, is password protected and that is open to members only. Uh, in the resource bank, uh, we have question banks, uh, external examiner list, guest lecturer list, facilities database list and case studies and class resources. So class resources are things like uh, video links, um, uh, lecture links, uh, ideas links uh, to other resources. So the aim is to share best practice going on all over the UK and to raise the level of space education. Uh, our members are members of these universities. We have 40 members so far. Uh, and 23 organisations, but we welcome new members. It's currently free to join. Uh, we may be moving to a subscription model in a couple of years, but at the moment uh, it's certainly free to join, so you are welcome to join us if you are a UK university. Please come and talk to us and find out more. 
uh, myself and my colleague Andrew Glester, who is the new Sun coordinator, will be standing on poster stand two if you're at the UK Space Conference. Uh, talk to anyone with a Sun badge on like this, uh, email us uh, or contact us through the Space Universities Network. And I would like to point out that we're financially supported by the UK Space Agency and by the University of Bristol, where I am based. Thank you very much for your attention.